So taking your concepts from the very rough um, kind of drawing stage to the next stage where you're doing three versions of your favorite, you really need to kind of rebuild the logo in a way that you will able to you'll be able to apply color nicely. Um, you'll be able to select separate shapes and fill them and outline them. Um, instead of having these like very separate line segments, you know, this is one, one, if we look real closely at it, one continuous line, but it's not connected. It's not a closed shape. Um, yeah, notice the same here. These don't actually close together. It's, it's act, the anchor point doesn't end here. Um, same with this one, you know, it's, it's very rough sketch. We've got a one line segment here and one here. And so we need to make that a closed shape. So here's where we can take our, now we're working in Artboard 2, three versions of your favorite, and we just need to build one solid logo before we can make three versions of anything. So come back to those tools that I taught you. How do you use the pen tool to draw your shape? Click, hold, and drag to create new curves, okay? That's a complete shape, so I can start a new one. Click, hold, and drag. Click, click, hold, and drag, because we've got a new curve. Single click there to end that, and then to close the shape, notice a little circle next to the pen tool. That means it's a closed shape. Click, hold, and drag, okay? So now we're starting to kind of make a more solid drawing of this shape. So that I can kind of fill these shapes with a solid black fill. So right now I'm right down here. The fill is on nothing and the outline is on black. I'm just going to click this little flip button so it flips from an outline to a fill. Um, so here you can see where this logo starts to look developed and a little bit more like a logo. Okay. Click hold and drag to make a new uh, curve. Okay, so it's starting to look more like a logo. And here's where I could maybe play with around, play around with some variations. So copy paste. I'm gonna make that one a white fill. Make that smaller. Maybe put that inside here. Do the same for these. Holding the shift key. Command C to copy, Command V to paste, make them smaller, holding the shift key. Let's put that inside there. And again, you're kind of building the logo backwards to the front, kind of like you did with the landscape. So slowly, this is starting to take form. So once I have a really solid logo and I've kind of refined all, fine-tuned all of the anchor points and the curves and adjusted the fills and everything. Now I can go ahead and I can make three versions of this. Copy paste this. Copy paste this. Okay. And one of them has to be a reversal. So I'm going to make um, maybe an ellipse, a circle around this guy. And I'm going to make it black. And I need to send it to the back. Arrange send to the back and so I have now black on black so I need to select my objects to make them white and these I can make black okay so there's one reversal one little trick I wanted to show you so instead of black on white we've got white on black um, I want to show you a, a little trick here if you put a shape behind your logo any shape um, you can select your your uh, white arrows or your white arrow. Sorry, that's not doing what I want it to. Let's see. The rounded ellipse. Let's see if it does it for this one. There's typically a little white circle that appears right here that you can kind of pull those curves in to, to have more curve around the corners, but my, it's not showing up on mine for some reason. Okay, so how do we make another variation? Well, we could, you know, add another outline or something and take a fill or switch that to an outline. Maybe make that stroke a little bit bigger 
to play around with what that could look like. And you're just kind of playing around to see what works, what doesn't work. Okay. And once you have three different variations, tweaks to the logo in three different ways, you are done with this stage. But it's really about building the logo in a way that makes sense so that you can easily change the colors. Because I cannot easily change the colors of this inside stem with the way this logo is built right now with two separate lines. If I go try to fill it, it's just going to look silly because it's not a closed shape. So really think about your logo in shapes and build those shapes, whether you draw them or you use the tools that already exist.